you about a few of the uh, injured guys first of all. Yep. How that track you start with Sammy? Is he um, turning uh, out that now? Yeah, Sammy, unlikely. We'll wait and see. Uh, pulling up really well at the moment, which is great. But, yeah, just a wait and see with Sammy. Uh, who else we got? Magne improving really well. Um, obviously, he won't be in for this one, but he's on a really good path at the moment. He's doing more and more work. Did about 45 minutes of work today, which is great. And, uh, he's, he's progressing well. And Clint, probably in the same boat. A little bit more than Will, just different nature of injury in terms of load. But uh, same thing, both progressing really well. And I think that is it. Uh, not really, yeah, a little bit too hard. Sam's more pain, so we're just waiting to see. That's like, that's why he's unlikely, but uh, those other guys, is just how they respond to their load improving, and they're on a really good path. They're, they're probably ahead of where we expected, but yeah, we're just waiting to see. What's the actual diagnosis with Sam? With Sam? Yeah. Uh, not fully sure, yeah. It's just his rib, he got, copped a massive hit. Uh, he's had a few scans and stuff, but yeah, that's, that's one for the medicos, but he's just dealing with pain at the moment. Functionally, he's pretty good. He's moving around really good. It's just, uh, yeah, making sure that his pain's reduced and he can get out there and get through it. And, and Magnate, you said at a 45-minute run-around today, was that? Or? Not with the group, just working out. So he's just doing his own thing. So he's on a good path right now. And I said, it's probably ahead of where we expected, but he's just in a good space. He's moving really well. He's around the team. And, uh, yeah, he's looking, looking really good. Excited to have Isaac as an official DP now. Yeah, really good. It's a you know, I credit the NBL and the Players Association. It's a it's a great move. It's a rule that should have come in a long time ago. And uh, we got guys in this group like Matty Kenyon had to go to the G League for two years because that rule didn't exist. So uh, to have that rule in place and give young guys opportunities to get back in the league uh, is, is awesome. And for Whitey to be that, yeah, that. Does that hurt? Good question. Does that hurt him financially? Guys, is it almost? No. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's. No specifics on that, but no, no. There's a DP, yeah, however that works, it's fine, so. Hypothetically, could you then get in another injury replacement player for Clint, or is he that close to coming back, that's irrelevant? Uh, hypothetically, maybe yes. I'm not sure of the exact rules, but it's pretty irrelevant. We're pretty happy with our squad and where we're at. We've probably got a spot there if we needed it, but um, not everyone usually fills those. They've tinkered with some of the new rules in the CBA, but the biggest thing for Isaac, it just allows him to suit up more games. So that's, that's the benefit of being a young guy and being a DP, as opposed to being a, a replacement player. Yeah, no, the, I mean, this league always rewards who gets better over time and uh, we thought we got better as the five games went on and that's all you can do. We'll, we'll have another chance to get better on Saturday and then same again as we go forward. So we're in a good space. We had to tidy some stuff up from the Cairns and, and Adelaide game, but we saw things that we don't usually see and that's why we went there. We got it done. We're just trying to work out from the starting five might be. Do you guys know what that is yet? Uh, not yet. We're mixing around with some teams. We've got you know, great flexibility within our group and we play different lineups and different sizes. So, yeah, that'll be a decision probably closer to shoot around in game day. But right now we're just getting guys through and mixing up the lineups where we can. How impressive was Jack McVay during the week to do what he did coming back off the shoulder? Yeah, look really good. We were pretty precautious with Jack. Like he was. Uh, yeah, he was going for a while there. We just held him, had to hold him back a little bit. He was in great form, you know, end of the season, obviously. And then uh, with the national team, he played some really good basketball. And uh, it was a shame, the timing of it, but also a bit of a blessing that happened then and not, you know, obviously now or later on. And uh, he's in a great space. I think he enjoyed the three days off. He's fresh and he's ready to go. So you, you had to pull the reins in on him a little bit. He quickly wanted to just... Uh, it's more just making sure we didn't risk it. There was no need to. Like, we didn't need to throw him out there, you know, too early or right on time. We just had a couple more weeks under our belt to get him right. And, yeah, it showed at the Blitz, he was ready to go and he's game fit and he's, he's looking good. Do you think he can take his game to another level this year? I think he has. I mean, I think he's already done that. Uh, showed it in the national team, showed it in that Blitz. Uh, he's still got room to grow, particularly defensively with his leadership. But, uh, yeah, we're looking for all of our guys to improve. That's that's what we want to you know, achieve here. All of our guys continually getting better and he's one of them for sure. With the starting lineup, are you leaning more towards a, a big starting five or playing small ball? How are you weighing those? Uh, we're not. I mean... We're always about finding the best five, whoever works the best together, and starts are important. Um, and you have to earn it with this group because we've got a lot of talent in this room. But yeah, we're not too worried right now. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe it would be a bit based on what they do. I'm not really sure. Scott's spoken a couple of times last time. He's spoken to him about the defensive end of things not being where they need to be. Yep. Do you, feel, do you feel that that's close to where it needs to be now? Yeah, I mean, we saw some different stuff. Like cans were cans are unique. They're going to be real different this year for the league to see. Like shooting almost 53s a game. They're just something we hadn't practiced against before. And uh, we struggled a little bit there defensively what we we're trying to achieve. And, and Adelaide are a different beast. So those two games were all poor. But again, it was things we hadn't seen or practiced against. And 
got to learn from it, come back this week, had a really good day today, so that's all you can do. Quick Isaac again, um, Scott was surprised he wasn't on the list, I think, when you guys picked him up. Definitely. Uh, watching, what, what would he be on the list? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, particularly when you've got multiple teams with spots still available going into round one. Um, I don't care, just happy we got him, so uh, that's their decision to make. Yeah. You obviously had a successful uh, I mean, we're not, you know, the, the success was great in terms of results, but our biggest growth has come from our process. Like, we've really improved our process and how we go about our environment. I mean, you guys have been around it. It's been really fun and promotes development and those kind of things. But we've added, you know, we've got great additions to our staff. Uh, we've got Emma Harris is involved now with some uh, psychology side of things, with some sports stuff. So we've improved our processes daily. Uh, we've changed our flows a little bit. We haven't rested on the results as our laurels. And uh, we're really happy about that. So we might get better this year and have a different win-loss record. That's just the way it goes. But uh, as long as we're improving daily, we're, we're happy. Last year, Scott said the offense was a bit slow to get going. Yeah. Where do you think that is at this stage? Uh, well, I mean, I can only go off stats. And right now, we're a little bit ahead of where we were this time last year in terms of production. So uh, we're, we're pretty happy. It certainly has a different feel to it. Uh, I think last year, offense is a lot about just playing with the guys and getting the chemistry figured out. We had 15, 16 new guys in a room. To bring back 10, 11 guys this year, there's some continuity there and things just pick up a bit quicker. So uh, we're, we're really happy with where it's at and hopefully the defense pays off too. What have been some of the focuses this week on, on the back of what you weren't happy with at the Blues? Uh, just making sure we're disciplined with our defense, uh, making sure we're locked into what we're trying to do. Like we tinkered with some things in the Blitz, uh, but we're certainly making sure we're disciplined on that in the floor, what we're willing to give up, what we're willing to take away. Uh, that's been a big focus and apart from that, just getting ready, sharpening up on offense and, and making sure we're ticking all the right boxes going on Saturday.